Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be studying again, doing some more note cards. Um, I actually already filmed this and then the file got corrupted, so we're doing it again, hopefully with better luck this time. <laughs> um, so today we're going to be doing thermodynamics and statistical mechanics, which is 10% of the physics theory according to the ETS website. So here are the note cards and um, just the same as with these other videos. Just want to make the disclaimer that these are literally the note cards I made for myself a few years ago to help me study for the physics degree. So I cannot make any promises about if they will work for you or even if they're necessarily accurate, but they are what I used. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Partition function for n classical particles. This is z sub n equals 1 over n factorial h to the 3n times the integral of e to the minus beta h um, over a volume derivative. And um, h in this case is the Hamiltonian. Big H is the Hamiltonian. <laughs> Internal energy of a classical ideal gas this is U equals 3 halves N KBT. Um, KB is the Boltzmann constant. The partition definition of entropy. This is S equals negative KB times the sum over P sub I log P sub I. Or also the partial derivative with respect to T of KBT log Z where z is the partition function. The equipartition theorem. This states that each quadratic term or degree of freedom in the Hamiltonian for a particle contributes one half kBT to the internal energy of the particle. Partition function of an ideal gas for a single particle. This is z sub 1 equals v over h cubed times 2 pi m kBT to the 3 halves. Pressure, P. This is defined as the negative partial derivative of u with respect to v for constant s where you use the internal energy, V is the volume, and S is the entropy. The entropy of a monatomic ideal gas, this is S equals N KB log VT to the 3 halves over N plus constant. Temperature. This is defined as T equals the partial derivative of U with respect to S for constant V. And this, um, again, U is the internal energy, S is the entropy, V is the volume, and T is the temperature. You'll see these come up a lot. <laughs> the ideal gas law. This is PV equals NKBT. We like this one. <laughs> The expectation value of energy, this is equal to the negative partial derivative with respect to beta of the log of z, where z is the partition function. The Maxwell relations for thermodynamics, this says that the partial derivative of p with respect to s at constant v is equal to the negative partial derivative of t with respect to v at constant s. The RMS velocity of an ideal gas molecule equals the square root of 3 kBT over m. The canonical ensemble. This is all possible states of the system with a fixed particle number n, a fixed volume v, and a fixed temperature t. So n, v, t are constant and all possible states. 
the Bose-Einstein distribution. So this gives the occupation number for identical bosons and is given by 1 over e to the epsilon sub i minus mu over kbt minus 1. The bulk modulus says k equals gamma times p. The ideal gas heat capacity relation so this is Cp minus Cv equals NKB. Those are the specific heats with pressure and volume. Heat engine efficiency. Eta equals 1 minus the absolute value of Qc over Qh. Those are the heats of the cool and hot portions of the cycle. The theoretical maximum efficiency for a heat engine is given eta max is 1 minus Tc over Th, where those are the temperatures associated with the cool and hot sinks. Stirling's formula. So this says that for large values of n, the natural log of n factorial is approximately equal to n times the natural log of n minus n. A lot of ends. <laughs> the work sign convention. So in the PV and TS plane, a clockwise path is equal to positive work. So in the pressure volume and temperature entropy planes, clockwise is positive work. An adiabatic process is one in which no heat is exchanged between this system and the surroundings, so delta Q equals zero. The change in entropy from mixing gases that have n particles each, um, delta S is equal to 2n kb log The zeroth law of thermodynamics says that if two systems are in equilibrium with a third, then they are also in equilibrium with each other. And this is why thermometers work. The Boltzmann definition of entropy is S equals KB log omega, where omega is the number of microstates corresponding to the macrostate. Bose condensation. So this is because all particles want to sit in the state with the lowest energy. So the Bose-Einstein distribution goes to infinity as T goes to zero. So the ground state is macroscopic and must be treated separately. Heat capacity at constant pressure, so C sub P, is equal to the partial derivative of Q with respect to T of course, constant pressure. A reversible process um, is one <clears throat> in which delta W, so the change in work, equals PdV, uh, delta Q equals TdS, and delta S equals the integral of dQ over T. For a reversible process. The probability that a system is in state i, p sub i, is given by e to the minus beta e sub i over the sum of e to the minus beta e sub i of all i. The microcanonical ensemble is the same as the canonical ensemble except it's for a fixed energy instead of a fixed temperature. So that'd be N, E, and T, or, or sorry, excuse me, N, V, and E are fixed instead of N, V, and T. The heat capacity at constant volume, C sub V, is equal to the partial derivative of Q with respect to T at constant volume, which is also the partial derivative of U with respect to T. N choose M, this is a, um, also known as 
and is a com combinatorial. So I'm saying that right? <laughs> um, n choose m is equal to n factorial over n minus m factorial times m factorial. And this is the notation for it. The fundamental thermodynamic identity. It says du equals t ds minus p dv. The Fermi Dirac distribution. This gives the occupation number for identical fermions and is given by 1 over e to the epsilon i minus mu over kbt plus 1. And this cannot be greater than 1. The average particle number, n, is given by the sum over i of g of epsilon sub i and times f of epsilon sub i, where f is either the uh, Fermi Dirac distribution or the Bose Einstein distribution, and g is uh, the degeneracy function. The ideal Carnot cycle. So this one's actually a drawing, so it's in the TS plane, and it's uh, basically a square that goes between two fixed entropies and um, a hot and a cold temperature. Hyperbolic tangent, also called tench, is, <coughs> is equal to the hyperbolic sine over the hyperbolic cosine, cinch over cosh. An isentropic process is one that is both adiabatic and reversible. And for an isentropic process, p v to the gamma is a constant, and gamma is equal to the ratio of the um, specific heat, sorry, the heat capacity at constant pressure and constant volume. The speed of sound in an ideal gas, C sub s, is given by the square root of gamma times n kdt over m. Specific heat capacity is defined by Q equals mc delta t, where little c is the specific heat capacity. Hyperbolic sine, also called cinch, is equal to e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. The average value of a parameter is equal to the sum over i of p sub i times o sub i, where p sub i is the probability of being in state i. A van der Waals gas. This is a gas of particles with non-zero size b and pairwise attractive potential a. The first law of thermodynamics is that energy cannot be created or destroyed, and so therefore delta U equals Q minus W. W is work. Hyperbolic cosine, aka cosh, is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. Degrees of freedom, the applicability. Um, so vibrational degrees of freedom apply for temperatures greater than about 1,000 Kelvin, and rotational degrees of freedom apply for temperatures of greater than about 1 Kelvin. Free expansion. This is adiabatic and irreversible. There is no work done by the gas and it happens at a constant temperature. And PV initial equals PV final. P prime, V prime. Partition function Z is the sum over I of E to the minus beta E sub I, where E sub I is the energy.
The second law of thermodynamics says that there is no process with the sole effect of transferring heat from a body at lower temperature to a body at higher temperature. And so that therefore, delta S is greater than or equal to the integral of dQ over T, but never less than. Boltzmann's constant. Um, this says that beta is equal to one over kBT. And lastly, the third law of thermodynamics says that entropy is zero at absolute zero temperature. Okay, that's zero Kelvin. Okay, so that's all I had for thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And I will, again, post a link down below to a PDF of these that you can print out if you so desire um, to use them to study on your own. Uh, so yeah, good luck with your test and happy studying, and I'll see you again soon. All right, bye.